Father, we thank you right now thank you. for the reading of your word. Oh, yeah. Now, Father, we ask that you will come and allow us an insight unto your verses and unto this word on this morning. Oh, yeah. Feed us this morning. Feed not only our mind, but feed our souls this morning. Oh, yeah. That we may do what you have called us to do. In the name of Jesus. The bless your servant, O oh God, that I may decrease, that you may increase this morning. Help us that we may be a doer of your word. In Jesus' precious name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Jesus will. Jesus will. Show up. Show up. Come on, say, I don't care how bad the situation is. I don't care how bad the situation is. Jesus will. Mary! Can I use a little Ebonics here? 
said, Mary, what you crying for? Uh -huh. My God. You think you're having a setback. But I'm only setting this back in order for you to have a comeback. Because that that I have told you has come to pass. Hello. And I want to let you know that 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 Jesus has told us, it will come to pass. Are y'all hearing me this morning? I don't know about you, but I'm so glad that Jesus knows my name. Aren't you glad that Jesus knows your name? Aren't you glad that Jesus knows what you're going through? Are you here this morning? The Lord lets us know that he was there all the time. Watching Mary. Whenever and whatever she needed, Jesus was right there. And I come to let you know today that whatever we need in this life, Jesus is right there to give it to us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? While he was, while she was there with Jesus, the disciples, ah, they was hiding behind clothes and locked doors. And we're talking, these are the mighty men of God. These are the men that walked with Jesus. These were the men that saw the miracles. These are the men that heard the mountain, the sermons on the mountain. These are the men that saw Jesus see 5,000 people. The two fish and uh, five loaves of bread. These same men that Jesus did these things with Jesus, now they was high. Behind locked doors. Some of us can't talk about the disciples because some of us are the same way. God has worked miracles in their lives and some of us are still high. Some of us are still behind locked doors. Hello, somebody. But these disciples was there in a locked door. And all of a sudden, amen, when Mary found out that Jesus was alive, the Bible said that she came and told Peter and the disciples. And when she told him that our God is not dead, he is alive. Uh -huh. uh, the disciples thought that she was getting a little hysterical. Uh -huh. Yeah, the disciples thought that she was getting, uh, 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 she was living in denial. Uh -huh. In other words, the disciples thought she was a little crazy. Uh -huh. Hello, somebody. And, 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 and while she was talking, I, I, I was just picturing the disciples. They were there locked up in a quiet room. Uh -huh. Nobody was talking. Uh, yes. Nobody said one word. Uh -huh. It was solemn in that room. Uh -huh. And I'm pretty sure they was wondering, well, what were they going to do now? Uh -huh. Since the vision is gone. Uh -huh. What are we going to do now since Jesus is gone? Uh -huh. You know what, that lets me know something. Even though the person may die, the vision still lives on. Oh, yes. The Word of God lets us know that, listen, without a vision, mm -hmm. ah, the people perish. And even though Jesus was not there physically, yes. his spirit still lived on. Yes. And the disciples was wondering, what are we going to do? Well, I come to let you know when they was there in the locked room, Jesus showed up. Oh, yeah. Not only did he show up, but he showed up. Uh -huh. God, I feel good this morning. Yeah. Jesus showed up. And as we read in verse 19, when he walked to them and when he came to them, one of the things he said to them was peace. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Be still. Yes. He gave them something that will calm their nerves. Yes. Yes. Uh, he did not give them a butt light. No, 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 no. They didn't need a butt light to calm their nerves. Neither did he give them a cigarette to calm their nerves. Uh -huh. uh, no, did he give them some crack cocaine or marijuana to kind of put them in a chill pill. No, no, no. But the Bible said that he told them peace. Yes. Be still. You might not even know that he's around, but I want to let you know that even this morning, uh, Jesus is in the room. Yes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It says that, listen, I want you to know that there's peace yes. that is in this room. Oh, yes. I'm so reminded of Jesus when, when Hebrews 13 and 5 says,
said that Jesus said that I'll never leave you. And I'll never forsake you. So that you may boldly say that the Lord is my help. And I will not fear what any man shall do unto me. And as long as there was a song that said that he was there. All the time. Now the brother, he did that. He could get that from me. He said, he was there all the time. He was there all the time. Waiting patiently in line. He was there. What you trying to say, Brother Pastor? I'm trying to say this, that 
comfortable to be in his presence. Because in his presence is the fullness of joy. In his presence, people get healed. In his presence, people receive the joy of the Lord. Oh, help me somebody. But if you're in tune with God, he comes along and he replaces your fear. And he replaces your despair with peace. He gives you joy for your son. You can exchange your garment of heaviness for the garment, garment of laughter. When the presence of God is in the place, he brings healing in the room. There is victory in the room. My God, my God. Look at your neighbor and say, he'll show up. Yes, he will. And I come to let you know today, even though maybe some of you may not realize it this morning, but I come to tell you this morning that Jesus is in the room. How do you know he's in the room, Pastor? Because I feel it in my hand. I can feel it in my feet. I can feel it all over me.
and moaning and, and, and murmuring among one another. The Bible said that Jesus showed up and he had the press through the crowd. And when he finally got on the inside of the hole, and the people was making all kind of noises. And the first thing the Bible said that he, Jesus did is that he put these folks out. Oh boy, that's a cell phone right there. What Jesus did, all the people that was distracting him, he put them out. All the people that did not believe in Jesus, he put them out. What are you trying to say, Pastor? Sometimes that's the way that we need to do. If we really want to get anything from God, there's some people that you don't need to be around. People that don't want to praise God. People that don't want to lift up the name of Jesus. You've got to find somebody, somebody that's going to praise Somebody that's somebody that's going to praise God.
in your life. When Jesus goes up, the Bible says, when they took Jesus, that night came and got him. They put nail prints in his hand. Put him in his feet. Person in the sky. And while he was still on the cross, Jesus still showed up. The Bible said while he was on the cross, he looked at one of the leaves over there and said, today, I know I'm on the cross, but I have to show up and let you know, things that today thou shalt be with me. Now, in paradise, look at your neighbor here and say, he showed up, he showed up. He looked up and said, Father, forgive them, for they know not.
things are still the same. Thank you. 